Now that we got the whole team together? I am Groot. Absolutely. A dry rocket is a happy rocket. This is you happy? Oh, yes. You should see some of the dark versions of Little Fuzzy. Or maybe you shouldn't. You really, really shouldn't. Does this crab corridor ring any bells, Mantis? Pretty sure this is the wet part. Oh, what now? I thought we just did the wet part. Oh, it gets worse. Much worse. Guys. Everyone okay? I'd be seeing stars if I could see anything at all. Yeah, this ain't good. So, about all them futures where we die. I am has he always been able to do that? He says he don't like showing off. Thanks, buddy. No, I don't gotta tell him. Ooh, right. The thing. That you tell us in the dark. It's really important. No, it ain't! Shut up! You're among friends, Rocket. It's nothing, okay? Just... The lab I was in did tests on me in tubes of water. And it sucked. It really, really sucked. Sensory deprivation experiments on Half-World. I heard of those. Sensory deprivation was like a vacation compared to the other things. And that's why you hate getting wet. Fuck. I had no idea. Don't make a big deal out of it. Just prefer to keep dry is all. So how long do we gotta wander around smashing our shins on rocks? Imagine it's a metaphor. You're in the physical darkness, and that reflects Green Meanie's mind. We can double back along Groot's path, and then try to find the exit. Ooh, this part. Ooh. Okay, anyone else getting really fed up with Little Miss Cryptic? At least it seems less dark through here, and less wet. Works for me. Mantis, anything in particular we should be looking out for? I'm trying to remember. I think this is where it gets loopy. Oh, uh, there's that creepy fog again. It's always here. Always. Until it is. What's that supposed to- Shh. I don't- More Hellraisers. Wait, yeah. But it ain't those Flarknards. It's them creepy eyeball things from the QZ. I'm definitely hearing Hellraisers. Then you ain't hearing right. It's eyeball things. I can't tell. It's not clear. Well, it's clear to me. Shh. What do you mean, shh? So much right. Shh. And about what? Shh. There's a new way out! So it was nothing. I think it depends. It's got something to do with the freaky fog. So the key all along was to keep quiet? Every time you name an enemy, it has the power to make that enemy appear. Yeah, like that was ever gonna happen. I saw so many versions of us fighting so many different things, but the source? It's not done with us yet, Guardians. Yeah, well, let's just keep our eyes open and our mouths shut. The fog entity has retreated for now. There's no immediate risk. Yeah, no offense, bug lady, but nothing you say means anything anymore. So the fog is an entity now? Yes! Sort of. Obviously, if some fog monster's trying to kill us, it means we're getting closer to whatever it is we're looking for. That kind of makes sense. And if this fog monster can make bad things appear, maybe the opposite is true. Like, if we all say cure Drax, maybe that's what we've been looking for the whole time. I wish, Star Guy, but no. The one time she gives a definite answer. Save Drax and the whole galaxy. Let me get back to you. Ooh, do you all feel that? We're so close. You finally figure out what we're here for? No way. But I do know it won't be very easy, especially not for you. Okay. One last time. It's fun. I don't remember.
remember this part. Okay, okay. Look, guys, um, <clears throat> I appreciate what you all did for me back there with the water thing, um, but following the bug lady any deeper is officially stupid. Rocket. No. Fog monsters? Cave pigs? Wet waterfalls? Technically, all water... No, no, Quill. She doesn't know where we are. She doesn't know where we're going. She doesn't know what we're looking for. Mantis, are we hot or cold? Room temperature. Okay, okay. This is crazy. She is probably crazy. It's not about her. It's about us. I am super proud of us. Because we've never gone this far for anything before. Oh, this is the one where you inspire them. Just think about who we were when we started. Um, well, you were a two-bit broke pirate who couldn't even outrun a tree. Exactly! And you were a two-bit bounty hunter. Just as broke as me, just as depraved, self-centered, mindlessly chasing every unit, bar, contract, bank to rob. I still like many of those things. So do I! But none of those things are why we're here now, right? You're down here, kicking ass for Drax. Not Drax the Destroyer, not Drax the Rampaging Criminal. Drax, man! Our friend. And Gamora. You've gone to the ends of the galaxy to hunt people, to hurt people. To get revenge in what I can only assume are some excruciatingly painful ways. But doesn't this feel kind of good? Going this far to help someone you care about? Oh, it feels so good. And Groot. Uh, he says you don't have to. No, no, I do. Because we all need to learn something from you, man. You never complain. But, or if you do, I don't catch it. But I, I, I'm pretty sure you probably definitely don't. You're always there for us. And that's what this is about. Us. Growing together as a team, following a crazy lady into a death cave because one of us needs help. Because we are a team. Help! we're a family. We're the fucking guardians of the galaxy. Really great speech, Will. How did anyone stop me? You're on such a roll! It really was one of your better speeches. Come on, cut him down! Feels like it should have worked. I'm thinking all it takes is one more blast. 
No! The water, Quill! I... I can't! You know I can't! Okay. Oh. No! He's shooting! It's gotta end sometime! Never thought I'd say it? For us. Hey, a friend needed help. A bunch of them. Rocket, man. Yeah. Can we please just save Drax already? Warm? Very, very warm. I think she wants us to jump in the hole. I may not know what we're looking for, but I know it's down there. Okay, let's finish this, because I sure as flock didn't get all wet for nothing. Something sad and sulky, licking lingering wounds. <laughs> if it's here. He's totally gonna feed us something awful down here. I know it. Should we expect a fight? Probably. You guys aren't very good at the whole de-escalation thing. Doesn't matter what's down here. If it can bring us back our grumpy Catathian, I'm all in. And the rest of you should be too. Come on, guys. We're the freaking guardians of the galaxy. Um, is that supposed to be me? I've heard you make that speech so many times, and then Gamora says something like, We're going to need Drax? Uh-huh. And then Little Fuzzy says, Nope, I ain't playing this game. And then Little Fuzzy usually says, If I get eaten, I'm gonna be real pissed, Quill. That does sound like me. Relax, nobody ever gets eaten. We're here. Home of the healing light. Source of the cure. Origin of Raker's power. It's... a cocoon? Told you she was gonna feed us to some giant bug! Or maybe she's the bug, and that's some kind of external digestion sack or something. <laughs> you realize this is weird, right? Oh, it gets weirder. What the... Oh, gross! Please tell me Drax is the only one who's got to go in that creepy egg sack. So the shepherds found fresh flock. <laughs> Foolish followers. Seek fast, beer 
weird, but... How the... You know not the gravity of your treacherous trespass! Not quell a god. <laughs> Prepare for oblivion, interloper. Oh, what's this one? Okay, Green Meanie, you're up. <sighs> Found you. Nasty uglies from that busted noggin of yours. It's okay, guys. It's him. Aaron Witchcraft. No. Wait. Aiden Warsock. Ashley Warsaw. Adam Warlock? That's it! The Golden God guy! Hold on. This guy's Raker's old divine... whatever? Looks pretty good for a dead guy. Were you not sent by the sanctimonious shepherd? Us? With Raker? Not a chance. We're trying to shut his ass down. See? Friends. Okay, big guy. And we go. Come on! All the ones where we die already happened. Ugh. Oh. Raker's got half the galaxy going cuckoo bananas, her friend included. I swapped your ass for a newer, younger, blue-skinned model. So, can you help us? Mantis seems to think you can cure Drax. My heavenly healing is veiled malignance. A first folly I swore never to repeat. Ugh, can someone translate this guy? He said no. What protection I can proffer is to remain reclusive. Not this time, Goldie. The pieces need to go back together. We just gotta get you all closer to the puzzle. And that would be... In here, of course. Whoa, wait, let, let's talk about... What the butt? It's like the beginning of Space Odyssey. Welcome to the Astral Plane, Snorlord. Teleported us? Oh, no. You're still comfy cozy with me. I just merged your minds. Merged our what? I gave no consent to this, Planescaper. She's not big on asking permission. It's all pretty sure this and fate of the galaxy that. Don't you get huffy, god guy. Your gold hands are all over this mess. What's that supposed to mean? I thought this guy was how we cure Drax. Cure and cause can coalesce. Uh, guys? Is that Drax? Hi, Groot. So we're going into Drax's head. Literally. Green Meanie's in there somewhere. Find him, and convince him to come back to reality. Uh, Mantis, please tell me we're supposed to be going into the bright light. Pretty sure. You need to reach the heart of Drax's promise. Much deeper than I've ever seen. Wait, if you've never seen it, does that mean it never happens? Hope not. Just keep going. And if we lose contact, listen to Amy Winsaw. She means you. Quite clearly. Whoa. This is Drax's promise? Mine was a lot less... downery. This is just the doorstep. Poor guy was stuck here. Reliving the loss of his family. Your friend's fear and pain primed him as prey. What do you know about it, Goldilocks? More than I mind. There's the big galoot. That was easy. This is just an echo, little fuzzy. Part of poor Greeny can never stop digging. <laughs> until he accepts what's there. You're not the only one that hears that, right? <laughs> 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 we got a runner! After him, Starlight! I don't know this part! Drax! Please be so 
something soft down there! <laughs> Drax? Not Drax. Thanos. Bet you weren't expecting a family reunion. Hey, Gamora. I'm going to enjoy this. Hope the rest of you are as ready for this as I am! Let loose, Rocket! Stick it to a group! That was the main course! But here comes dessert! <laughs> not so tough after all. Something's not right. You failed to fathom the rules of this realm. <laughs> what the? Okay, that's new. That's new, right? I think I'd remember there being two of him. Twice the ugly, twice the target wreck. You got this one! Hey, Goldie, don't suppose you want to lend a hand? At this rate, we're gonna be outnumbered! It's like he can't be killed! As far as Drax is concerned, he probably can't! You're giving in to more greedy and obsession! Only by letting go can you move on! Abandon the obsession! Something, but I don't see Drax. Mantis? Your soothsayer holds no sway here. <laughs> oh, good. Not creepy at all. Hold up! Look! <laughs> Not so fast, little one. Drax! Wait up! These walls are all rings, just like the gravestones. There he is again! Drax, buddy! Wait up! Forced to follow fools. <laughs> Damn it! I can hear you. You play pawn on a board built by your opponent. You got a better idea? I'm all ears. Assuming we ever catch him, what then? I'm working on that. Left, little one. Huh? 
You can see me? friend is too far fallen to be willed back by words. For someone who's been no help, you seem full of opinions on how this works. <laughs> it is you who for- There! Look! Hey, how did you beat me? Because <laughs> I am your father. You've been playing in your mother's garden again. I was hunting. Hunting dirt? No, I chased it, but it was too quick. Only fools rush forward. A hunter waits, chooses her moment. Drax. <clears throat> Papa? Are you alright? Drax, come here! It is time to come home! What the flock is that? Yes, little one. Your mother waits. Insidious succubus! Release your thrall! It's not in Kansas anymore. Those spawn of shadow! Snuff their source while I widen our They're way! They're coming from those nests! Whatever's keeping us from Drax. You saw simply its spawn. That black stuff. I saw something like it in my promise. There will be more. Is that Drax's wife? I think so. Hovat. Then this must be Drax's home. <laughs> you two certainly took your time. Only fools rush. Come, my love. Let us go inside. Drax, buddy. Your words are wasted, wind. Easy, all right. I got this. Come on, big guy. I know you can hear me. Why do you haunt me? We're gonna lose him again. It's me, buddy. Stormlord, remember? We're all here. You're stronger than this, Drax. Come on, you big luck. Don't leave me alone with Quill. Drax, dinner is ready. That's not Hovat. You gotta let her go. You do not know what you ask. Do it! Ah! Or 
are not! This charade. Cover your eye holes. Not good. Clark and nowhere is where we are. Maybe it's not all bad. I don't see any new promise, at least. We are an empty eternal echo. Naked nothingness. Not helping. Oh, old wizard. All right, everyone just split up and look for a way out. Or forward, or. Whatever. I lose a bet if I die in a dark pit. It was alone in a dark pit. Drax! Come on, buddy. I know you can hear me. This ain't barking funny. I know you're in a dark place right now. Literally. But we're not gonna give up. There! Look! I can't believe that worked. Let's go. Part of him is still with us. I'm sure of it. Why are you doing this? Do not leave me be. You gotta trust us, Drax. We're trying to help. By destroying my home. Your blissful ignorance is in ignoble pursuit. Easy, Shakespeare. We got this. Come on. You don't really want to stay in this dark hole? I would endure the depths of Sarduth to be with my family. Drax, love. It is time to eat. I get it, man. They seem really special. They are the only thing that matters. My Hovat. Was the most fearless mate I've ever known. He brought me peace even during times of war. My Camaria. My innocent little Camaria. She was the best of us both. Despite her meager stature, they both were. were. My family is gone. What sits before me? I don't know. But it's not real. It ain't good. It is a perversion. Fed by desperation. Without it... I will have nothing. I cannot be alone again. You're not alone, man. We're here for you. We've all lost someone, Drax. But it gets easier if you surround yourself with the right people. Uh, Groot said some mushy stuff. Let's just pretend I said it too. Papa? Are you okay? Join us, Drax. It's not her. Are you hurt, Papa? Talk to us, love.
cherish the time that we had. And not resent the time that we lost. <gasps> Shall love and honor you both. Always. How you doing, big guy? You okay? I am of sound mind, thanks to you all. I owe amends for my lapse in judgment. Hey, you don't owe us squat. Ain't none of us perfect. It's kind of our thing. <laughs> How much do you remember? Great darkness grew with every lie that I swallowed. The longer I remained with my family, the more certain I became that I could never leave. You quill. Your child is in danger, if her pain is half my own, the darkness may consume her entirely. Not if I can help it. We gotta be smart about this. There's a whole lot of converted between us and her. A whole lot of that black dwarf too. And anyone wanna tell me why Harry Hobo was able to suck it up? Warns in why that thing looked like him. Because it is me. Explain that bombshell? Time is tight and your understanding unimportant. Can I shoot him? Come on, let me shoot him. Hey, we're in this together and Smart Money says it's gonna be a tough fight. Even in earnest. Imagine ambivalent omnipotence drifting in darkness. Uh, speaking of dark. Such was my celestial solitude. Power without purpose until uncovered by Raker. His crew were convalescent. Plagued by a pox, I was serendipitously suited to soothe. A ship full of sick people just happens upon someone with limitless healing? We were need and needed. Symptom and solace. I worshipped the wonder of my ways and declared me divine. I think we know where this is going. I do not know where this is going. This is the scary part? As the flock of followers fawned, a dark delight developed deep within me. And in the shadows it spoke. Weak whelps, pernicious priesting, feeble fools, fit for feasting. Hubris made hunger. A cancerous craving called Magus. What did it want? Complete devotion. I too heard this voice, and could hear nothing else. Adulation, flagellation, gorge with grief and consternation. I told you this was the scary part. It was pure putrefaction, sown from the seed of my strength. My soul stone gone sour. I resolved to rip it out. Rip it out? How? A mechanical marvel wrought by Raker would sever the stone from my skull and excise the evil entangled within. Translation, you let Raker steal your powers. Whatever his wayward wander, he was on that day my friend. He swore to separate sanctity from sin, that my healing could yet be harnessed without harm. Sure, but who's harnessing it? 
I'm with Rocket. Raker knew exactly what he was doing. That man's a master manipulator. Damn it! Now you've got me doing it. I bear no blame for my fallen friend. Our errant experiment all but broke us both. Then how do you explain how your best bud got his hands on the stone and has now taken over the galaxy? I cannot. I think... I can answer that. After I rejected my promise, I got pulled into Nikki's. Corel was there. She was trying to show me something. Peter, you can't trust anything you saw in there. This was different, and it felt different. She took me back to the QZ and I saw that Magus thing. I saw it get all twisted up with Nikki and I... I saw it kill Corel. You hear yourself? How'd she show you this if she's dead? Quite conceivable. Her soul may be snared by the stone, chained to the child. That's what Corell said. The three of them are somehow connected. She said Nikki needs to accept her death. Magus preys upon her pain, manipulates her mind while feeding on her flock of followers. And I'm guessing it never gets full. Its appetite is insatiable. If unassailed, Magus will absorb all. We're gonna need one hell of a plan. Well, you better come up with it quick, because I see daylight. The bond between Magus and Matriarch must be broken. It harvests its hunger through the host. So... Nikki's like the head vampire. If we cure her, it'll free the rest. Why didn't you just say that? So step one, find Nikki. Step two, convince her mom ain't coming back from the dead. Step three, get that stone away from her and mop the floor with that Magus thing. You show no shortage of assurance. Yeah, this one's Mr. Positivity. It's enough to make you sick. The stone is both bondage and bridge for Magus, and a young mind is most malleable. If Magus is merged with her, she may not survive the severing. We won't let it come to that. Not to join the Golden Downer, but how are we supposed to find the kid? What's going- What are you- Oh, oh Lark. Lark. They can go anywhere, convert anyone. We need to go now. Does that sound like you're not coming with us? These are my people. Some still survive if I stay. Then we'll stay and help. Go. I'll be where I'm needed when I need to be. Just trust me. Don't go dying on me. I'm starting to actually get you. Papa Squat Golden Boy, you're making me nervous. Or perhaps your nerves need gnawing. What did I do? This precarious plan proves more meek by the moment. The Madonna was meant to be among us. She knows what she's doing. Eventually. What sorry sins I have wrought to rest me among such a motley crew. Did he? Did he take my room? Not so much as a yip from the mud. Groot says he'll keep trying. Where's Mr. Fancy Words? It has assumed Peter Quill's quarters. It was a daring display of dominance. Don't you start. Usually I'd say who needs him, but we do. So you better fix this one, Quill. Just try not to piss him off any more than he already is. 
If it is to be a fight to the death, I will honor the outcome. If he kills you, I get your guns. Wouldn't bet on Peter winning that fight. It took all five of us to beat him last time. I still can't believe he caught one of my smart bombs. Just like that. We have already fought the man. Hold on. You don't remember? I remember sparring against the Celestial Madonna in a small village. And in the cold darkness of the promise devouring my soul. Until you found me. Yeah, you missed a lot. It may be up to us to stop the church in nowhere. You ready? He's worried about the mutt. Says it would be easier with his help. I take it Groot didn't reach Cosmo? No dice. The tree is persistent. He will keep trying. Moore, are you okay letting Mantis fight the church alone out there? She won't fight. She'll focus on evacuating people. Maybe they can all hide in the caves. So she's just gonna let the church take over her homeworld? Mantis will tell you that people matter more than the planet. And she knows that the church won't stop coming until we rescue Nikki. You have great confidence in this celestial Madonna. She's one of the few people I know I can trust. Really? She freaks me out. Because she's smarter than you? And kinder. Hey, that nickname makes my skin crawl. I'm furry, not fuzzy. Not even that little. Glad you're back on our side, Drax. I got a feeling we'll need to go full destroyer on this one. I shall be ready, Peter Quill. I have witnessed the threat posed by Magus firsthand. No one should suffer from its malignant lies. I owe all of you a great debt of gratitude. It would be my honor to fight beside you with all of my might. That's a lot of might. Groot agrees with you, Muscles. Sounds like we've got ourselves a nice church butt-kicking party. I only hope our guest agrees to join this buttock-striking celebration. Hey, Quill. You seem like you're in a good mood. Huh. Do I? I've got a great idea for a new blaster extension. Can't wait to put it together. Well, now that the gang's back together and we've got a minute to breathe, I think you deserve an official thank you for what you did on Lamentis. <laughs> Quill, I, uh... I know you don't like that kind of sappy stuff, but I really mean it. Knowing about the crap those scientists did to you, not only does it make my blood boil, it puts everything into perspective. Oh, come on, it was just a puddle. I don't know if I could have gotten over something like that. You saved our lives, man. You deserve a bit of praise. The rodents saved your lives, and scientists were involved. I have many questions. Yeah, well, save them for the next time we all get a drink together, buddy. Do I get a raise for this? One tick, done. On it, and fix. So, about my raise. I don't think that's where Golden Boy went to. He's in your cabin if you're looking for him, Peter. I know, I know. According to this, the Collector reported Groot- Oh! Hey! Rocket! Groot! Sup? What are you doing snooping through Groot's scut, Quill? I am Groot. Well, maybe you should mind. Whoa, 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 guys! Groot, I, I didn't mean to invade your space. Seriously, I would never do that. I was just... curious about this report thingy I found. Yeah, the report thingy that just so happens to bring up a lot of painful memories for Groot. Real smooth, Quill. I am Groot. It's not fine. The Collector kept you in a frickin' cage like some... some kind of animal. As if it weren't bad enough you lost your entire planet. I am Groot. Fine. Groot says he'll answer your stupid questions. What happened to your homeworld? I am you never told me that. I am Groot. What did he say? He says the Shatari blew it up with a, an experimental doomsday device. Oh 
Holy crap. That's awful. I am... <clears throat> Ain't the worst part, Quill. Groot says after Planet X was blown up, the other branch worlds mobilized. But they weren't no match for the Shatari and also got destroyed. I am... Groot. Far as he knows, he's the last of his kind. Oh, Groot. I'm sorry. I don't know what I'd do if Earth was destroyed, if I was the last... human. I am Groot. He says it's not so bad. He's got us. How'd you end up with the Collector in the first place? How do you think? He stole Groot. I am Groot. Fine, you tell it. I am Groot. He says the Collector found him at the start of the war, in the wreckage of his planet. Holy crap. But just a piece, a splinter. The rest got destroyed like everyone else. Just a splinter? Does this mean you can't die? <laughs> I am Groot. He can still die, but he ain't gonna, cause I ain't gonna let him. <laughs> I'll replant you a million times if I gotta. So, how'd the Collector find- Hey, old traveler. Have you accepted the truth of a divine promise? We have. My deceased wife and daughter are with me. To thank the matriarch for her gift. May the promise be fulfilled. You are clear to land at the spaceport. Them bars and bedding parlors. The noodle joints. Maybe it's not as bad as it looks. I assume it would be worse. Raker rallies regiments while we wait, whistling in the wings. Landing as fast as I can, go. What the flark? Great! The coon boy thinks he's a butterfly now. He is a man of action. Let's just hope that he can keep the church busy while we look for Nikki. Didn't think you'd be able to bluff your way through security muscles. I am quite adept at deception. We're gonna need more than that to get to the Continuum Cortex and rescue Nikki. Especially with Golden Boy jumping ship. Should we, like, try to find him? Time is running out. We cannot lose focus if we are to save the girl. Drax is right. Let's just hope Warlock can do a bit of damage on his side. Let's do this! Time to save Nikki! Okay... Let's be cool. Let me handle these guys. Welcome, travelers. Have you come to witness the fulfillment? What now? The realization of the Matriarch's promise. The beginning of a new world. One without death, or pain, or fear. You should know this. Weren't you vetted and clear to land here? What? Of course we were. How are you not aware of the fulfillment? Something is wrong. These heretics must be stopped! Attack! Bunch of losers!
losers. Me and Groot, we win this in our sleep. Thanos needs to tie me in fights like this just to make it interesting. They are no match for these blades, Peter Quill. All right, all right, listen. This isn't our first rodeo, guys. Problem is, if we play a cocky, one little mistake is gonna bring us down. So let's get back out there, give this fight complete dedication, and make them scream! Who's with me? Today, I am we the destroyer! Are. Let's... <laughs> Better pray their new world comes without death or pain or fear. Cause I'm gonna kill him for flarking up this spaceport. They have been very busy redecorating. All the more reason for us to get to the Cortex and find Nikki. Assuming we find the girl, how do we sever her connection with Magus? We don't. If Cocoon Boy ain't around to suck it up afterward. We'll just have to reason with her. The Rift's the end of the known universe, but don't see how it figures into anything. ships patrolling. Just be thankful they aren't shooting at us. Won't hear me complaining. Scott! Cosmos Tower's shut down. That's because it's never been dark before. You do realize some of the guys shooting at us were nowhere security? This does not bode well for the dog. Never was the Mutt's biggest fan, but we could have used the backup telepath. Just because the tower shut down doesn't mean Cosmo is too. Last time we were here, he knocked out me, Gamora, and Drax, and Lady Hellbender's bounty hunters, like it was nothing. We just gotta have faith he's okay. Really, Peter? Faith? There does appear to be an excess in store here. in the marketplace. The same thing we saw when we flew in. Yeah, but it'll be up close. Nowhere really stunk sometimes, but... Clark! Over there! There's so many of them. I thought most nobodies would have rejected the promise. Everyone wants something they can't have. Yeah, but... You're right, Rocket. The people who lived here were rough. I once saw someone beat someone else to a pulp because they gave them a compliment. No way they'd willingly join up. A sword to the throat can be very convincing. So can the promise. We got Flark and Faith batteries everywhere. Just like on Hal's Hope. Perhaps they have built another giant ray gun inside the Continuum Cortex. To siphon Faith from multiple worlds at once? Is that even possible? The energy ain't filling these batteries. It's moving away from them. So they're powering something. Sure looks like it. Wonder if any of these fortune tellers saw this coming. Unlikely. They were all charlatans. Most of them were pickpockets and fences. 
Pretty useful people to know. Hey, check it out. We got bad guys. Deeper we go. Hundred units says they're tied to the fulfillment. Priest said that they were bringing. They can't raise the dead, especially after we save Nikki. I had a contact here, rotations ago. You did? Was it Blurf? No, no, no. Shut up and what's maybe? Whoa, 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 whoa. Cat free. He always gave group the creeps. I've been thinking about what Warlock said. Over here! Looks like we can squeeze through. We must be close to Mantlo's bar. Can you see it? Not really. There's a lot of debris in the way. There is no way through this wall. Could be a bunch of wackos just waiting for us on the other side. Whoa! Peter! Well, that didn't work. Look, I'm going in. What about the fanatics? I'll toast them if I see them. We're the only ones who can do this, right? Gamora, you should be able to get your sword in there now. Give me a boost. Mantlos. Look at her. This is personal, Quill. Don't leave me hanging. <laughs> I know how much you love this dive. It was the one spot in this whole Flarkin galaxy where a guy could feel safe. I mean, except for the bar brawls and the security raids and the bounty hunters. We'll drink to it later. Right now, we've got to keep moving. the church was able to seize the cortex. It seemed pretty secure last time. Yeah, it wasn't half as secure as the dog thought. The church's forces increased by the tick. Their superior numbers could have easily breached the defenses. While well, we got just the five of us. Okay, okay. Gotta make a passage here. No sign of Goldie Bronze since he left from our ship. Adam Warlock. Might be splattered somewhere across the lower city. Or got picked up by a wandering creep squad. Or maybe he was lying about which side he was on and is just waiting to attack us. Yeah, what do we need the Golden Boy for anyway? Ah, we were ah, doing ah. fine without him. I was not fine. Magus was devouring my soul. Your memory is suspect. You know why we need Warlock to stop Magus' space magic ritual? We don't know space magic! Yes, yeah, because that ain't a real thing! Man, I'm not so sure anymore, not after look. Shh! Try not to give ourselves away! Hard to believe how much the place has changed. The Emporium used to be right here. Did the church destroy it? More turkeys dropping in! They're dropping like flies soon enough! Save your nice words for later, Quill! Not going into the lights this time, little buddy! This looks like a dead end. For some more... Others. 
There is still no sign of the warlock. Based on when he jumped, he's probably already in the woods. In a busted heat. Improbable. He magically shaved when our backs were turned. Looks like the church is trying to keep us out of there. That's not gonna work. Careful, Peter Quill. Guys, look down. It's an awful lot of light. You're thinking it's the full Flarkman, ain't you? But it could just be runoff from the cables. Whatever these whack jobs are up to, they need a lot of juice. Perhaps this is how they powered their fleet to reach Lamentus. Eh, but the Cortex could... Maybe Raker's trying to reanimate the Celestial Head, bring it back to life? Perhaps he wishes to turn it into a ship. Bah, this thing's deader than dead. It ain't coming back and it ain't jumping through no hyperspace. They say Celestials are powered by hyperspace. Regardless, we must reach the Undercity to find the girl and stop whatever they are doing. And we'll have to be ready for them to try and stop us. The converted ones will be prepared to die in order to bring their loved ones back to life. Which is pretty ironic if you think about it. Our level of cooperation is invigorating. We have become a formidable team. Yep, sure have, Drax. Ain't we just one big, happy Flark and family? What are you doing with that garbage? She's not garbage. Never better. 
Yep, definitely not good. Gamora, wait, hold on a sec. Why? So more children can be sacrificed in the name of Rager's flagged up church? Of course not, just... Just what, Peter? I don't know. Breathe. Every minute we waste. We don't have time to breathe. I know Raker brings back bad memories. This isn't about Thanos. It's about Nikki and what men like Raker and Thanos do to girls like her. Like me. My sister. If I had just been better at protecting Nebula, maybe... Maybe she wouldn't be dead. Whoa. What? Nebula's dead? How? By who? Tell me, so I can find him and shake his protecting hand. By me. You killed your sister? She is the one you saw in the Matriarch's Promise. That's how I knew it was a lie. The Nebula I knew had been twisted into a hateful, vengeful monster thing. One who would never stop unless I stopped her. So I did. I just never expected to survive. Why didn't you say something? It's not exactly a conversation starter. Hi, I'm Gamora. I murdered my sister. Can we be friends? Of course we can't. How can you be friends with a monster? Why would you want that on your team? A team I actually... kind of enjoyed being on. All things considered. Well, uh, I hate Nebula, so I actually would have... What? I'm just saying it don't change nothing. Actually, it changes everything. The most deadly woman in the galaxy just admitted... She loves us. I did not. You did? You said you were in love with us right after the part about killing your sister. I said I enjoyed your company. That is the Katathian definition of love. Like. I I'll give you like. C can we just move on? Agreed. That's about all the love fest I can take. We accept you, Gamora Zenubri. Pretty sure we're married now. This is excruciating. All right, I'm pretty sure we've all caught our breath. What say we go stop a nut job cult leader? Yes.
With access to the Cortex, who knows how many reserve forces they can bring in here. We gotta shut it down! Let's get to the bridge. Cosmos Tower is the quickest way. So, Gamora? How am I supposed to drop? Too wide to cross. Maybe we can bridge the gap. We keep saying bridge, and it's starting to sound like a made-up word. All words are made up. You see that kid in the ritual thing? I could not miss him. You think the church did that to his head? Or was the poor sucker born like that? Drax? I have been eager to topple something over. Be prepared in case the Grand Unifier arrives. I'm more than ready. Really? A faith force field? If we can find the power source, we should be able to turn it off. Let's get looking then. You know, I usually hate it when that Cosmo spotlight would shine down on me. That's it, Peter! Let's go! We need to get out of here before Raker shows up. Alright, get ahead! Let's book <laughs> Guardians of the galaxy. The Matriarch has chosen to enact the fulfillment from this station. And you shall not stop her. She hasn't chosen anything. You've been manipulating her from the start. She is the light. And I am merely her servant. Kinda hard to be the light with that dark monster thingy inside of her. Blasphemy! You may have rejected her. But you will believe when it returns you from death's cold clutches. Your pain has pushed you to a perilous precipice, old friend. You die. The form is fleeting, but the foundation remains forever. Now cease this stubborn senselessness before it reaps a ruinous reward. Ruinous.
Stay away from the edges! I will toss them to their deaths! Rocket! Do your thing! Okay! We gotta get to that elevator! At least the rooftops will provide some cover! Never see it coming! Make sure you don't fall off! I got jet boots, remember? Throw that, Drax! Get a quill! Unleash me onto these fools! Just once I'd like to cross this bridge without incident! You can thank Goldie for that! The Warlock saved us from sucking it down! Nah, I ain't scared of Raker and his little white show! We approach the Dog's Tower! We still have to fight our way through! Get down here! Let me shoot you! This dazed fool will no longer sully the Nova Corps! It had to be done! We don't need Golden Boy's help! Is that why you shot him? <laughs> oh yeah, that was great, right in the butt. Did you see the look on his face? It was all like, oh, my gilded glutes. Regal rear is perfect possible. Look out! Finally! I think they're giving up! Just in time, because we're not getting back on that bridge! I know where we are. There's a road nearby that intersects the main bridge to Cosmos. Where? It should be, uh, right below us. What's so special about Goldie, anyway? Yeah, he's strong. But what good is strong against ridiculous, unrelenting firepower? We need to be on the other side of this thing. We're not getting over. Would under suffice? Must suck to be a celestial head. Drax, buddy, let's make a hole. That's one way down. The best way. <laughs> Uh, Groot thinks we'll be nowhere royalty once we save it. Assuming they don't blame us for the Grand Unicorn. And the brainwashing cult. And the Magus World Destroyer thing. Look! They're still at it! At least our guy seems to be winning. Ba -ba -boom, baby! We sure are destroying a lot of advertising today. Like we need another reminder to buy Kallax cream. Battle must have been tremendous. Is any of this structurally sound? Something tells me it never was. Yep, that's part of Nowhere's charm. Well, you gotta be flarkin' kidding me. Don't suppose Groot knows another side route. If I could just get to the other side, I could hack that thing and drop the bridge. If you can get to the other side, we can get to the other side, and it wouldn't matter. <sighs> Throw me. What? Throw me! 
Just get muscles to huck me across. Do you have any idea how far down it is if you miss? We ain't got time to argue. I'll make it. Leave this to me! Whoa! Glad that wasn't you are a valued member of this team. Not a tool to be thrown about. Worried about this ritual. And what's really gonna happen if we can't stop it? Ain't gonna be dead people coming back, holding hands and wagging tails, that's for sure. We won't have to worry about that. I know I can get through to Nikki. This is Raker's doing, not hers. I won't give up on her either. Nor will I. Yeah, and neither will the Grand Unicorn. He will regret it. How dumb are these Flartnards to even fall for this full Flarkman garbage? Magus demands adulation, trapping you with vile illusion while feeding on your soul. I felt it in my promise too. That endless hunger. Oh yeah. Hungry is an understatement. Holy faith! All that light isn't leading to the Cortex. It is the Cortex. How could that mutt let this happen? Looks like you'll get to ask him yourself. This isn't going to end well. Cosmo! We've got to get down there! Don't count him out just yet. I've seen him get out of worse scrapes. This is being exposed to the promise! No! Get away from no. my god! Watch it, Drax! Blow him up! Nobody kicks it! Come on, breathing room, Drew! Samura! Touch that! Is it me or are we barely denting this thing? We need to focus on taking it down! Big guy is held back! This is an historic battle! The last stand of nowhere! They'll be building a statue hey, for this! Yeah! You! Put down my friend! Or else! We gotta keep them off Cosmo! Let's worry about keeping them off of us first! Teamwork makes the dream! I guess! Well, let's all hit this thing! Sackler! Destroy! Why does the dog not bite, Blaster? Why is the time to recover? You just matched with the wrong thing! <laughs> you owe me one, Quill! Man, that giant robot can take a lot of pain! Big stuff, huh? We need to really pile it on! Ride another sound! Another one? Go, Rocky! Guys, huddle up! Larkin crazy out there, Quill. Dast and scum nuts soak up bullets like you wouldn't believe. Then return every beating I deliver with equal force. We're gonna be in real trouble if we don't stop him. Dudes! Every battle comes with some kind of curveball. But trying to predict where it's gonna land only makes it worse. This isn't helping, Peter. I'm telling you not to overthink it. Right? Who's with me? You are Here we go, Here. Yo! Is that what they call a spiritual experience? I will enjoy this! Why does the dog not mind blast them? Something's wrong with him! They'll be happy just to be alive! Nobody kick the dog on my watch! Oh, you're in trouble now! What the fuck are you doing? He's one of them now. He's our friend. Yeah, so is Drax. 
And I ain't going inside this flea bag's head. Maybe it doesn't have to come to that. Hey, buddy. Are you, uh... Take him out before it's too late. Wait! He's still in there. I can hear him. I hear only barking. Focus your mind. He's there. Ah, uh, oh, fuck it. Just shoot the mutt. <laughs> Easy, bud. Friends, remember? Is Piotr cool? Cosmo knows never lie. Yeah, buddy. It's me. It's all of us. Where is Cosmo Smil? Smil of nowhere. Where else would we be, fur brain? His mind is addled. Or he is simply a dog. <sighs> He doesn't see us. He's still in the promise. Cosmo, where are you? What do you see? Blue sky in cars to chase. Cosmo is big. Duma, how you see? Home. He's talking about Earth. Smell of fresh grass. Feeling of dirt between paws. No psychic burden, just... Walkies for going, and the ball for fetching. If you missed your home planet, could you not simply return at any time? Not at time that matter. Same reason Katadia not go home. Nowhere is your home. Right here and now. Nowhere is nothing. Dead hit, mind for scrap. It's way more than that. This place is special. I I met you mean I saved your bark, then. Yeah, we met here. It's true. Nowhere was first place since Earth. Cosmo not feel like stray dog. First time Cosmo forget what was lost. This place is a haven for misfits like us. Like you. It's home. Earth is just some rock where you were born. It's not about rock. It's about what Cosmo had on rock. Foot of bed for sleeping, belly for rubbing, collar with name. You miss being someone's property? Cosmo not property. Belong to family. Then one day, family gone. Men in suits sent Cosmo into space. Cosmo searched many dog years for those he lost. But Owners, it sounds like they gave you up. What about your puppies, Cosmo? They're your family. Cosmo Young, are... They're here, man. And they're counting on you. For love, for protection. But humans call for Cosmo to heal. Must be loyal. Those pups actually need you. Be loyal to them. Don't abandon them in space the way you were. Cosmo would never! But you have! They're somewhere here on Nowhere, maybe needing your help right now. Come on, Cosmo, you gotta know this doesn't smell right. Pewter Quill is right. Cosmo human have no smell. They are wicked perversions, you must bite them with all your might. Be gone! Cosmo not fetch your lies. That's it, buddy. You tell him. Nowhere is Cosmo home, be. 